So Josh, we're here today to walk through the woods. Yep, that's right. We're going through the woods. Are you ready? Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go through the woods. How do you do at horror games? I'm pretty horrible at horror games in the fact that I'm terrified. Yeah, I would say I'm not the greatest. Hence why we have your face cam. The, yeah, you're so scared you're actually not even looking at the screen. That's right. I, I'm just staring off into like the blackness. Yeah, you're in another room. So the music's already pretty creepy. Is it too late to quit? Nope. And we should point out we're playing this with a Xbox 360 gamepad on PC. Yep, and as you saw, this is, this is the alpha. Speaking, and I'm sitting here with Karen Dahl, the mother of the missing boy, Philip Dahl Erickson. Tell me about, um, what was his name again? Old Nick? Do you mean Old Eric? Right. Eric. Sorry. I always thought he was this urban legend. You know, go to bed or old Eric will come and take you. It's that creepy. is, until I saw him with Philip. Before he took him from me. Just for the record, you saw old Eric kidnap your son? <sighs> yes. At least it's not old Greg. Old Greg's pretty creepy too. Though. To the dark quite quickly. On the other hand, I could only spot the reflectors with a flashlight. So we should point out this game is uh, in alpha. Do you know what this uh, is running on? Is this Unity or their own engine? I am not one hundred percent sure. So it's a uh, <clears throat> it's a hard game. It is. They've compared it to the likes of. Yeah, for some reason he likes collecting them. Like Amnesia, Alan Wake. Yeah, it looks very Alan Wake esque with the flashlight. Yeah, left trigger, crouches. Right trigger. Oh, right trigger's run. Pretty sweet reflector. I, I'd collect them. I could see why I like those things. I kind of like the graphic style here. When I saw the second one, I knew it was him. He was leaving the reflectors behind so I could follow him. Or just old Greg messing with you. Old Greg. my direction. Follow the reflectors, man. That's right. Why would you be in the woods this late at night? Well, you're looking for your son. Your son got kidnapped by uh, old Eric. Why are you by yourself? That, that's actually a very good question. Maybe it was, she's caught in the heat of the moment. I would have a better flashlight. Y you collect flashlights, though. That's true. I would definitely. I would have like nine thousand. I would be a beacon of light. Actually, you know what though? As far as flashlights go, this one's not horrible. Yeah, for a video game flashlight. Like I can see what's going on. Throughout our previous conversations, Karen, I couldn't help noticing that you hardly speak about your son's father. Why is that? I've told you everything that's worth mentioning about him. So it looks like I'm trying to go off past here. I'm not going to because I will probably get lost. actually stopped by for Christmas last year. Uh, he had a gift for my son, this this bright orange okay. bubble jacket. I thought it was hideous. About a week or so later, I bought my son this new, really cool winter coat. I, I thought he would love it. Moms but don't know what's cool. For the love of God, stop wearing his stupid bubble jacket. What's a bubble jacket? I think those are like the big, like, marshmallow man jackets. No. Those are pretty sweet. I never heard them called a bubble jacket before. I used to have one. I want a bubble jacket. 
it's summertime, and about two weeks ago, I bought a winter coat. Is it? A, I'm assuming it's not a bubble jacket. It's not a bubble jacket. But I couldn't pass up the deal. It was too good. Kind of, I definitely like the graphics of this. Kind of cool sky. I was waiting for something to pop out behind a tree. Yeah, it doesn't help when you step on branches. It actually makes noises. Yeah, sound not, the sound design in this game is fantastic. Yeah, on the on the Kickstarter, they actually that's one big thing. They were very... Oh, God. It doesn't help. I can hear her breathing, and then when I get scared, I hear myself breathing, so I just creep myself out even more. <laughs> right, do you see any more reflection? Am I going oh, stairs? Since these stones appear so often on the island, I think they're a good reference point to go back to if I get something wrong in my story. Was it? Was that a little breaking the fourth wall? That's yeah, kind of interesting. I'm a fan. So those are like save points. Almost. Yeah. Alright, that's really creepy. What would you do if you were in the woods and you heard that? Uh, get in my car and go home. We, you've been walking for a while, though. Would you just run away? I'd probably be breathing as heavy as this lady is right now, even though she's walking. Yeah, she's, she's out of shape. coming from over there? Yeah, he's definitely from over there. Yep. Can you go in these houses? X. Of course it is. They have to you have to go towards the scary monsters, Josh. I don't want to do that. That's, this is the kind of situation I try to avoid. I'd live here. Is this what your cabin's like? <laughs> yes. I walk around in the woods at night time. Mm, creepy music. Good sign. creepy like town is that a well what is that like a fire thing yeah I guess a shield is this in Norway if I believe the developers are from Norway yeah they are uh, the game the game takes place in a lot of uh, Norse mythology. Okay. I keep hearing things behind me. Oh god. What? You didn't see that? Nope. There's someone looking at me. I'm glad I didn't see that. He was staring at me. He looked like almost like the dude from Scream. Yeah. He was wearing a mask or something. His white face. I don't want to look in there. I'm going to warn you already. I, I had a burrito for dinner, <laughs> so I may shit my pants. that scratching noise. It's coming right. It's coming right there. Can we, can we just stop our playthrough right now? Yeah. Philip? Okay. 
Oh god. Oh. Okay. Right now is a good time to call the police. I know I'm off camera. People can't see this. I'm like super tense right now. <laughs> yeah, I see you out of the corner of my eye. Like, you're not blinking. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't like that. Take the axe. Take the axe. Oh. You don't see anything, do you? Nope. I have my eyes closed. There it is. Where? It's right in front. That's like a pickaxe or something. Oh, God. Go say hi. He's probably friendly. I don't want to. Alright, I'm going away from that guy. Can you put your flashlight away, like, to hide? Things scarier. I'm like so tense right now, I can't think of anything to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to talk, but. At least people lock their doors. <laughs> yeah, they just forgot to add walls. God, don't breathe like that lady. You freak me out. Oh, I thought that was something on the roof. Now I'm just freaking myself out. <laughs> they don't have to scare me. stones Is that a bunny rabbit and a squid <laughs> yeah just run deeper into the woods well she didn't do the typical horror thing when she saw that guy with the pickaxe hey hello can you help me? Hello? That was always a big uh, Resident Evil thing. Clearly a zombie in front of you. Hello? Uh oh. You said that and now I hear like zombies. So what do you think's better? Me going slow or should I be booking this through? through? I'd be running, but I don't know if there's a stamina meter. I hear something. I thought I saw a reflector. Yeah, there's something over here. You just, just keep going away from that noise. That sounds like me when I eat way too many burritos. Maybe it is you. Oh no, what is that thing? Go say hi. It's staring at me. Go over and say hi. I'm sorry. I'm leaving my kid in the woods. <laughs> If I saw that thing.
Good thing I can get the other side of like a ravine. Yeah. I think I can. I could probably walk over to it. I think you can if you go around the other way. Should I try? Let, let's see what we gotta see what happens. In the name of science. Maybe we'll be friendly. Uh oh. Oh no. He's coming to say hi to you. I think it's because I step on sticks. Wow, that thing's really creepy sounding. Oh no, it's getting louder. Oh no. Turn around. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Please don't come in the cave. Please don't come in the cave. Oh, thank god. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Screw you, game. Was, I escaped from it. I didn't really have a choice. I had to find another way out of the cave. Escape? He locked you in the cave. <laughs> I have to watch this video afterwards just so I can see my own facial expressions. <laughs> I'm like sweating my ass off. Oh, yeah, oh, ba oh. fake baby, wonderful. Even the eyes are creepy. How would you describe what you saw in the cave? It was horrifying. Filled with toys and clothes left behind by children. Children taken away from their homes, away from their parents, by him. This was a tomb of their last memories. Yeah, that's pretty horrifying. Yep. And you're in a position you can't run back to your car anymore. See? Bubble jacket. Your son's jacket in there. Tell me how did that make you feel? What I felt was fury. I became obsessed with hurting him. I wanted to tear him apart. I wanted to kill old Eric. Damn, son. So that was through the woods. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Uh, we'll have the link for the Kickstarter down below. And uh, check out our podcast.